Hello everyone, and welcome back to another RuneScape video. Before I get started here, I'd like to thank all of you who are subscribed to me. Over the past three days, I've gotten another 100 subscribers and almost 20,000 views, so thank you so much for that. Anyway, RuneScape has gotten countless changes throughout the years, both big and small. Some have helped the game, while others have done just the opposite. This list will include updates that were both big in size, as well as changes that the community made a huge deal about. Anyway, that's about it for the intro, so let's get into the video. Number 10, Dungeoneering. Dungeoneering was a skill that was released on the 12th of April in 2010. It feels kind of crazy to say 2010 because it's legitimately been over 7 years since the skill came out. You earn XP by entering into the dungeons, and while inside, you fight monsters, solve puzzles, and train other skills. Unlike most other skills, the skill can be trained with other players by creating a party of up to 5 players. It's also unusual because no items can be taken in or out of the dungeon, except for the Orb of Oculus, Ring of Kinship, and some cosmetics. This update was pretty huge, and it's quite popular even today. Dungeoneering is far from being my favorite skill, but it's extremely fun to train with friends. Number 9, God Wars Dungeon. The God Wars Dungeon is easily one of the most popular and fun places to boss in RuneScape. It released back in August 28th of 2007, and arguably was the biggest and most popular update of that year. God Wars Dungeon has given us so many iconic items that you still see around RuneScape to this day. It's pretty difficult to imagine what RuneScape would look like without God Wars, and it's crazy to believe there was a time when it didn't exist. Then again, it did take quite a long time before it was added to old school. Number 8, RuneScape 3. RuneScape 3 is a pretty massive update that released on July 22nd of 2013. It brought along quite a few changes, such as the updated soundtrack, customizable UI, and new camera controls. This update also brought along the updating of the website and a new logo. I think these changes were pretty great for RuneScape, although I do sometimes miss the nostalgic look of the old website. Other than that, the updated soundtrack sounds amazing, and the ability to customize your UI is a very welcome change in such a huge MMO. Number 7, Trade Limit and Bounty Hunter. This update is probably one of the most hated updates to ever happen to RuneScape. As discussed in the documentary that just released, it came into existence for very important reasons, which I will mention later. Anyway, this update was released back on the 10th of December 2007 to much controversy. All in one day, Jagex had added a trade limit, changed the way drops work, made the wilderness safe, and added Bounty Hunter. They introduced all of this to try and combat real-world trading, as well as bots. All the players hated it, but it worked. Now you may be wondering, why would Jagex make such a large change if the players hated it? Well, they were kind of forced into making this update. As stated in the documentary, many gold farming websites were stealing credit cards from their users and using these to buy RuneScape memberships. When the card owners noticed, they would call the company and get a chargeback. Credit card companies started getting massive requests from multiple people every day. As a result, they told Jagex that it needs to stop or they will no longer do business with them. All of these updates came as a result of that. Number 6, NXT Client. NXT is definitely one of my favorite changes that has happened since RS3. The NXT Game Client is a client Jagex created in hopes of eventually fully replacing the Java one. NXT was first teased at RuneFest in 2014, but it took until the 18th of April in 2016 to actually be released. It was well worth the wait though. With NXT came an improvement in graphics such as the game's draw distance, dynamic lighting and shadows, improved water, waves, and much more. NXT came as a replacement for the now scrapped HTML5 client. The HTML5 beta first opened on April 17th in 2013, but was scrapped as it was almost impossible for anyone to run it. NXT was a great evolution and is definitely the best way to have the best experience while playing RuneScape. Number 5, RuneScape HD. RuneScape HD was an absolutely massive project, as according to the wiki it took almost 18 months from start to finish. RuneScape HD was a complete overhaul of RuneScape's graphics, and it released on July 1st of 2008. The first rumors of these updates happened in May of that same year, when players were asked by Jagex to run an application that tested their computer specs. In the next few weeks, Jagex teased the update more and more, even showing a screenshot comparison of the old graphics and the new graphics. With the release of RuneScape HD came the beloved login screen that panned around RuneScape showing many of its areas. Many players, including myself, still miss that login screen. Number 4, The Grand Exchange. The Grand Exchange completely changed RuneScape as we know it. 
Jagex had finally introduced a system to make the buying and selling of items extremely easy. Previously, it could take hours just to find a buyer or a seller. Not to mention, even if you did find one, you'd often have to haggle on the price. Although I didn't live through this originally, I saw the same thing happen in Old School RuneScape when it first launched. Anyway, back in the day, if you were looking to buy and sell, there were very specific areas you could go. Players made their own maps for places like Falador, displaying where you should go to do trade. These places were filled with lines and lines of text as players spammed, hoping to find someone else. When the Grand Exchange was eventually introduced into RuneScape, the vast majority of players loved the idea. Although, like almost every update, it did have an effect on the in-game economy, except this time it was a big one. Most weapons and food seriously inflated in price. Things like Shark doubled in price, while Cooked Lobsters quadrupled. Things like the Dragon Hatchet and Abyssal Whip also had huge price increases. The Dragon Hatchet went from 2 mil to 2.7 mil, while the Abyssal Whip went from 1.5 mil to a whopping 3.3 mil. Number 3, The Evolution of Combat The Evolution of Combat is probably one of the most controversial updates that ever happened to RuneScape. The update was first teased back in May 11th of 2012. This was the start of a series of posts that would talk more and more about the evolution of combat and what it would bring to the game. They posted things such as abilities, the ability bar, dual wielding, and eventually the sign up for the beta itself. They also held things such as Q&A threads to try and answer as many questions as possible. For those of you who don't know what the EOC is, it was an update that changed RuneScape's combat completely. Previous combat was quite simplistic, where most of it was clicking once to attack, eating food when damaged, depending on your gear casting a spell, and occasionally using a special attack. The EOC completely flipped this around by adding abilities. These abilities did a range of things, such as heal, injure, damage over time, freeze, and much more. This changed the way everything worked, and as a result, players had to completely relearn how to fight in RuneScape. Players seriously did not take well to this update, and even Jagex themselves have admitted the update did seem a bit rushed. I personally did quit for a few months when the EOC was released, but obviously came back. This update alone caused a huge chunk of the player base to quit and never return to the game. Jagex did eventually come up with a solution to this, which I will be covering next. Number 2, Old School RuneScape. Although it technically wouldn't be considered an update to some people, I figured I should include it anyway. Old School RuneScape was absolutely huge within the community when it was first announced, and was so popular it even spread past that. Jagex was one of the first MMO companies to bring back a legacy version of the game, especially one this popular. It all started out sometime after the Evolution of Combat was launched. A popular YouTuber by the name of Sorect created a petition asking Jagex to restore old game servers for players to use. Jagex did some digging and managed to locate a back of a RuneScape from 2007. After it was discovered it was fully playable, Jagex launched a poll asking if players would like to see if the version of this game should return. This led to arguably the biggest player involvement in RuneScape ever. This poll managed to reach close to half a million votes and led to the launch of Old School RuneScape. Suddenly, millions of players were flooding back into the game, hoping to get a taste of nostalgia. Now, Old School RuneScape has even outgrown the current version of the game and has more active players at the moment. Number 1, RuneScape 2. Arguably the biggest change to RuneScape in history was RuneScape 2. It was easily one of the largest, if not the largest update of all time. Years of work was spent remaking the entire game world, creating new mechanics, modeling all existing items, and so much more. RuneScape 2 was first talked about all the way back on July 11th of 2002. Jagex said they wanted to update the game so that it used a faster 3D engine and over the next few months showed off many of the 3D models of the monsters. A little under two years later, Jagex finally released what is now referred to as RuneScape 2. As stated in the recent documentary, before the update was launched, many employees were scared as to what effect RuneScape 2 would have on the player base. It turns out they had no reason to worry as the game became a massive success and continued to grow.